It's important for law enforcement to know about the Constitution because the Constitution is the central document in our democratic tradition that governs all of our lives. And in as much as police officers are citizens in this country, uh, they too are bound by and benefit from the Constitution. So the Constitution is not uh, a document that anyone should see as proscriptive, but rather it's a document that people should see as protective, protective of uh, all citizens or every citizen's interests. The Constitution is important for law enforcement primarily because it guides uh, law enforcement in the proper procedures for gathering evidence and for going ahead with prosecutions. Without those following those procedures, this, the, the, the criminal process won't work. Why law enforcement officers should know about the Constitution? One is that they want to be able to make arrests and gather evidence that will stand up in court. So if they are acting as police officers with a view toward giving prosecutors cases that the prosecutors can win, they have to know what the Constitution says they can and cannot do because the Constitution sets limits on the exercise of their power. And if they overstep their bounds, they're going to lose the case. But there's another reason why police officers should know about the Constitution as well. When you become a police officer, you're given a badge and a gun. So the state gives you a great deal of power. And you take an oath, and that oath includes an affirmation that one of the things that you're going to do with that power is to uphold and defend the Constitution. So you should know what it is you're upholding and defending. And it's going to make your job better and easier because to be a successful police officer, you need the support of the community. And if the community knows that you're aware of what the Constitution says and that you're committed to doing only the things the Constitution allows you to do, the community's going to get behind you and your job's going to be easier, it's going to be safer. Police, investigators, law enforcement officers generally who think constitutionally, if you will, are hands down better investigators, better witnesses, and I think better public servants. They understand the overarching or overriding purpose for their actions. Uh, their behavior is, it tends to be less arbitrary, less subjective, and more a function of standards and expectations that we've all come to recognize and appreciate. And so I can think back over the years about detectives, which is why I'm smiling, and the better ones were those who liked to do analysis of a case in constitutional terms. Law enforcement is important to the Constitution because without a well-ordered society in which law enforcement plays an important role, people would not be able to pursue their constitutional rights. The right to speak is, is, would be worthless if there was no forum in which to, to speak. And the right to own property and to have the protections of the Constitution on your property and contracts rights would be worthless if there was no well-ordered society in which to enjoy them. I think law enforcement officers are frontline constitutional actors in that they are the initial manifestation of the state's authority, which, is its, which itself derives from the Constitution. Police officers have a difficult task because they have to react to something in real time. They have to react to people in real time. And they, have to, and they have to observe constitutional strictures at the same time. And I often tell them that my job is the easy one because I get to bundle, package, market, present the fruits of their labor. And when they do their jobs constitutionally, I have a successful case, or at least I have a challenge-proof case. When they don't, regardless of the underlying facts, my case is headed nowhere. In Federalist Number 1, Alexander Hamilton described the American experiment, and I'll paraphrase here, uh, to answer the great question, are people capable of governing themselves through reason and reflection rather than through the imposition of force? Uh, as a law enforcement officer, you are 
the people's representative. Think about this. We've elected a government. The government then has established a police force of some sort and then decided that only certain people, people of good character, people of great ability, people of specific training, can then wield the power of government directly. So as a law enforcement officer, you're going out there and you're embodying the very concept of the American experiment. It is important for law enforcement officers to, to have an appreciation, if not an understanding, an appreciation for the Constitution so that they discharge their duties in an objective or through an objective lens. The brand of justice that I get at the hand of Officer A shouldn't be any different than the brand of justice that I get at the hand of Officer B. And both should be the flavor of the Constitution. And so if you have an officer, if, if, if one of those officers suffers a deficit in his or her level of appreciation for the Constitution, then the quality of justice dispensed at the hands of that officer suffers.